What's up everybody, Randy coming back at you with FPV Trends, and I really want to say I appreciate you watching this video. Uh, if you find it helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithm and helps my channel. And if you ain't already subscribed, please be sure to subscribe to the channel for future videos just like this one and more. In this video, we're going to talk about someone's question, and their question was in reference to one of my previous videos where I showed how to use uh, this little uh, L shape here to uh, connect to your Avada a lot easier and uh, and not have to take out the SD card every time because as we all know the SD card and the connection is inside the uh, prop guard here and it's a terrible terrible design they should have never designed it that way but they did uh, and what I showed you was is how to use this and how to just be able to plug it in there and how easy it made it to plug it in there but what I actually want to show you now is somebody, or actually a lot of people have said, well, what happens after that? So we're going to go into my computer screen here, and I'm going to show you exactly what happens on a Windows system when you uh, plug in the Avada and how to get your files off the Avada. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a Mac, and I don't know how this process works on the Mac. Uh, I'm going to try to find somebody that can help me figure that out, and we can do a screen recording. But in the meantime, this one is for Windows version only. To show you how to get the files from your Avada to your hard drive on your computer. And the phone would work about the same way. You would just plug it into the phone and the phone should start transferring it automatically. But we're going to talk about the computer version here. So let's get started with my screen share. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug the Avada in here. I have my files in here. Now one of the things you can do is you can take out the SD card every single time and you can do that on a Mac as well just take out the SD card but it is a pain to take out so that's why I come up with this little L shape here bracket I'll leave a link in the description below where you can find this uh, bracket and even find these uh, long cables here I think this one's about a six foot cable but I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the Avada and you'll see on my screen exactly what happens on a Windows system as soon as I plug it in you hear that click or beep or whatever it is that they're doing now it's going to beep again, and then it's going to beep one more time. And we're just waiting on it to beep there, beep one more time. Now, of course, my Norton comes up. I just have to click no. Now I've got two things that actually come up on the screen here. Uh, one comes up like this. It says the SD card. And the other one comes up like this that says internal storage. Now, if you're saving this to internal storage, this is where you're going to find it at. You're going to find it under the DCIM and then under media, and you're going to see all your files here. But if you do not use the internal storage, you can just go ahead and click the X and exit out of that one and just keep the SD card one open. So what I'm going to do here is I'll go ahead and I'm on my SD card. I'm going to go ahead and click on D DCIM, and I'm going to click on media. And as you can see, I've got files here. Uh, in the media. Now I can view those files to see uh, what what they are. And on the Windows 11 system, you just click on View, and you can click on large icons, or you can click on extra large icons, or whatever, and it'll show you exactly what files, or it'll show you a thumbnail of each file. From here, though, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move them over to my computer. So all I would do at this point is just drag and drop, or I can uh, start at the top. And I can hold my shift key down on the PC on the Windows. And I can click at the bottom and click on all of them. And this makes them draggable. If I hold my left mouse button down, I can now drag them off to the desktop. So let's go ahead and take a look at that and see what that looks like. Okay, so I got the files here. And I'm only going to drag one file. I'm not going to drag them all because it'll take a long time for them to download. Each one of these, if you look at the details, each one of these is broken down into uh, three and a half minutes. Now they do that because of time in, that it takes to download them. Uh, and also if, uh, if something were to happen in the corruption, you at least have some of your files. And also if you don't format it in a certain format, in other words, if you don't let the goggles format the SD card uh, on the Avada, then uh, it will format it in FAT32 and those can only handle it to four gigabyte files. So you can see these are almost four gigabyte files. Uh, most of them and that can kind of tell you what the length of them was but I'm only going to drag one file down here just to save on time and so I'm just going to grab it with my left mouse button drag it down and you see it changes to copy the desktop here so then all I'm going to do is just let go of my left mouse button and now it's copying that file from my Avada to my computer so it's that simple really 
and that's going to copy it over when it's done the file will be completed it'll be on my desktop or whatever folder I want to put it in and uh, and it'll be there ready to play if you wanted to add it to another folder then it would just be as simple as just opening up um, another Explorer and I'll show you that in just a second okay so I sped it up so now here's that file down here and it is ready for play uh, all I have to do is just double click on it basically and it will start playing uh, up here in my player it actually went over my other window but there it is playing uh, so as you can see just double click on it and it will start playing uh, so that's straight from the Avada now what if I wanted to put these in another file folder so what I could do is is just uh, go ahead and open up another Explorer uh, or I can just uh, I've got this closed for privacy reasons but you can come over here and pick which folder you wanted to put it in uh, and copy it from there but and for this sake I'm gonna open up another Explorer I do have my uh, Windows Explorer um, uh, thing down here uh, pinned to the taskbar. I'm at, I'm at a loss for words here. I have it pinned to the taskbar. So if I just right click on it and just click on File Explorer, uh, it'll open up another one here. Let's say I just wanted to put this over here in this file folder over here, and uh, in, in maybe in videos or whatever, then I could just come over here and I would just grab a hold of this and just drag it over to this folder and it will copy it right over into this particular folder. So you can actually move it into various folders. So I hope that helps you. If it did, please be sure to give this a thumbs up. Be sure to share and subscribe. And uh, until next time, stay safe, fly safe, and I'll see each and every one of you on the flip side.